Agreed, when? Hmm. It's Mrs. Card. Did you have a good day yesterday? I hope so. I saw lots of you were busy on the IXL website and you were busy on the uh, reading website, so good for you. I just want to say remember on the IXL website that you need to practice first, you need to practice the exercises that Mrs. Card assigns in Edsby and mommy and daddy will know what Mrs. Card means because um, those exercises are helping you practice what we're going to be learning in math each day. Okay, so do that first. And then if you want to try some other exercises, that's okay with Mrs. Card, but you're doing so well on it. Good job. And uh, I'm looking forward to reading about your holidays and your New Year's resolutions. So let's talk about uh, what day of the week it is today. Do you remember what the month is? January. There it is on our calendar. And then of course it's the year 2021. Do you know what day of the week it is today? Now, this was where, where we were at yesterday. Mrs. Card forgot to cross that out. So let's do that first. So that day is all done. You know what? I'm not gonna cross it out. I'm gonna put a heart on it just to be different. See, so that day's all done. So that brings us to the next empty space on the calendar, which is the fifth. And if you slide your finger up, you can see that today is Tuesday. What was yesterday? Monday. What will tomorrow be? Wednesday. Very good. So the date today is, Mrs. Card wrote it all out. Can you say it with me? Tuesday, January 5th. And what's the year? It's a new year, 20. 21, or you can say 2021. Good job. Now it's the fifth today. Is five an even number or an odd number? Let's see. Odd numbers end in one, three, five, seven, nine. So today is an odd day. And why is five odd? Because if you try to divide five into two equal groups, like this, say I put two in one group and three in another, the groups are different, so that means it's an odd number. In order for a number to be even, remember the groups have to be the same. All right, let's take a look at what, I don't really have any new news for today other than there's some new things that you'll be um, learning in your seat work. And yeah, that's pretty much all grade one. We're gonna keep practicing subtraction and math you're gonna learn the word look, L-O-O-K. So let's get into our Bibles. Yesterday we read about Daniel. And we're gonna carry on reading about Daniel. We're going to read about what happens to him next. Remember, he and his friends, do you remember who they are? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego have been taken captive. That means they've been kidnapped out of their homeland and brought to a different place. And that different place is called Babylon. And in that place, the people don't serve God. But the king of Babylon says that everyone must bow down to their God that they worship. So we're going to see the challenge that Daniel and his friends face uh, today. In the fire, it's called. Can you see that? Oops. Oh dear, here we go. One day, the king of Babylon set up a tall gold statue. He told the people, horns and pipes will play. When you hear the music, bow down, worship the statue. If you don't, I will throw you into a big fire. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego knew they could only worship the true God. They heard the music, but do you think they bowed down? No, they did not bow down. Someone told the king, he called Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, bow down and worship the statue, he said.
but they said, We will never worship a statue. The king was very angry. He called his servants, Make the fire as hot as you can, and throw these men into it, he said. So his helpers made a hot, hot fire. They threw Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego into the fire. What do you think will happen to them? Do you think that they will be burned up? But the king could not believe his eyes. Suddenly, there were four men in the fire. One looked like a son of God. They were walking around. They were not burning. Come out, the king called. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out. They were not burned. They did not even smell like smoke. The king was amazed. He praised God. He knew God had saved them. Wow, that is an amazing story. Do you remember what it's called when something happens that only God could do? It starts with M. It's a miracle. And do you know what else I was thinking of when I read that story? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and Daniel were obedient and their obedience brought blessing. God saved them. He spared them from the fire. And sometimes it's hard to obey, but Daniel set an example for us that no matter how hard, we need to stand up and we need to make the choice to do what is right and to do what is good and to obey all the time, no matter what, because that's living like Jesus. All right, let's pray and we'll start our day. God, thank you for another day that we can uh, have school on the computer. And sometimes we miss each other, but we'll see each other soon again. And so we pray, God, I pray for each friend in my class, Lord, that you would help them today at home to be able to pay good attention to their schoolwork and do their very best. And Lord, help them to follow the example of Daniel and his three friends who were obedient even when it was very, very hard. And their obedience brought blessing and reward. Thank you for watching over them. Thank you for, for putting this wonderful story of such a miraculous thing in God's word for us to uh, learn from and enjoy, Lord. Thank you that we can see you at work in every situation. And Lord, we just thank you for um, uh, this time that we can share together. And I pray for a blessing on all my friends today. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day, grade one. I'll see you tomorrow.